Here is a typical vinyl house that was built in the early 1990s. You can see how faded the old siding is. The old vinyl siding pulls off the wall quite easily. There is no building wrap behind the old siding, but we are going to correct that because a good siding job starts with properly installed, high quality building wrap and flashing around the windows and doors, the corners and protrusions through the wall such as vents and wiring for lights. Just as this crew has done, it is important to make the home watertight at the end of each work day. Now that the wrap is installed, it is time to put up some J-channel in preparation for the new siding. This step may be skipped depending upon your particular situation. Now we are ready to install the steel tracking system that holds the brick. This heavy gauge steel is galvanized and polymer coated. That is why True Bricks can give you a 50 year warranty. This system is very versatile. Here the installer is putting the rail in place for an arch and keystone which will go above all the windows on this customer's home. Now that the steel is securely attached, we will put the brick corner pieces in first. They slide right in. The rest of the bricks snap in with the help of a rubber mallet. These brick tile are cut from a full size brick into one inch slabs, then grooved to fit securely into the rail. That is why this system looks like real brick, because it is made from real brick. This house is getting an authentic molded brick with antique texture. Now that the brick are all in place, it is time to mortar. This is a tuck point mortar gun. It is kind of like a refillable caulking gun, but for mortar instead. It is important to overfill the joints just like this installer is doing. Soon after the mortar is pumped into the joints, it is ready for tooling with a finish striker. After a final brush down, the job is complete. As you can see from the results, this is the best way you can replace vinyl siding and that is with brick.